Hello and welcome, it's Pamela here and today I'm making a mixed media money holder. It was my niece's birthday a few days ago and as one of the main gifts I'm giving her is cash, I thought it'd be nice to include it in an embellished envelope. So I will be decorating the belly band of the envelope with lots of flowers, resin pieces and gems but first of all I'm making a start on the actual envelope and the belly band itself. So you would have seen me just flicking through Prima's watercolour floral collection and I really love the pastel colours in this. I've chosen some of the papers from the 12 by 12 because of the gold foiling on them which I think will give a really nice touch. So to catch up with what you're seeing on the screen, the first thing I done was cut out the size that I wanted my belly band and I left that at 12 inches and cut it at 6 inches, inches even across but you will see later on in the video that I do trim that slightly to 5 and 3 quarters so if you are following along just cut it at 5 and 3 quarters first and set that aside my envelope then i wanted poking out of the edges of the belly band of course so i've cut that to 10 by 12 and you've just seen me score the envelope at four inches and eight and a quarter the four inch will fold up and become the pocket I did trim that down a bit when I folded it up just so I thought it looked better than the pocket being right up to where the second fold would be. So I trimmed that down about half or three quarters of an inch and then I used a two inch hole punch to put a notch in the middle that you'll be able to see the cash through. Then just folded it up and glued the sides to form our pocket and I then set that aside and continued on the belly band. So with the belly band the first thing that I done was put another score line two inches up on the 12 inch side and folded it. I then remembered that I actually wanted to back it with some white cardstock just to give it extra stability. Um, the cardstock I cut to six inches and that's where I decided to trim the pattern paper down ever so slightly to five and three quarter inches just so I'd have a bit of a border. I'm then again folding that cardstock at two inches and I'll just glue the two of those together. As I said, leaving a tiny border around each side. It doesn't matter so much if you haven't got borders at the edges as they won't be seen and I will be cutting off some of that excess anyway. So you can see I'm just gluing it all together. It's obviously easier if you remember to put your backing on before you start scoring it but it worked out fine anyway so as you can see i've got that two inch score line there and in a second i'm going to butt that against the bottom of my envelope and instead of scoring along the top i want a nice really firm fit so i'm just doing it by hand i don't want my envelope to be too loose and it falling out from the belly band and it's really a nice firm hold so i've cut it over and just by eye judged where to cut it leaving probably about an inch or an inch and a half of space that i can glue and just cut the excess off it's up to you where you want that join to be i know i'll be covering it so i'll just leave it at the front if you don't want it so embellished you could just have it at the back of your envelope it's whichever way you decide to fit it i'm going to ink around all of the edges of the envelope now again this is easier if you remember to do this before you start gluing it together and just before i put the ink on you would have seen that i used my envelope punch board just to round off the two corners that are showing so at this point I've set the envelope aside for the time being and I'm starting on decorating the belly band. 
I want to cover up that seam if I can so I'm going to use a lace trim which I think gives a nice touch to the shabbiness. I'm adhering that to my belly band with two rows of double sided tape. I'm also going to add one of the 3x4 journaling cards on the front of the belly band. I'm just inking around the edges with the same ink that I used earlier, which I forgot to mention is the Ranger Archival ink in violet. And I'm just getting the resin pieces that I'll use on the belly band ready as well. I painted them off screen just because otherwise the video would be really long. But I just showed the impasto paints from Prima that I used. I like them because of the pastel colours and they have a nice matte effect. I'm just using a bit of metallic wax to go around the edges though, just to accent them a bit more. I'm now back to working on the inside of the envelope again and I'm just inking around another one of the 3x4 journaling cards. I'll pop this in the actual envelope pocket with the cash as well. I just thought it was a really nice sentiment. And here you can see I'm going through one of the ephemera packs, just picking out any bits and pieces that I like which takes a few minutes but once I've decided I've formed a little cluster at the top third of the envelope so when she opens it there'll be that kind of cute little cluster inside as well and I'm just gluing them down. If you do want to make something similar just remember not to use anything two dimensional here as you want to be able to get that envelope closed and insert it through the belly band so still remember to keep it quite flat. So once this is done I can set the envelope aside and it's time to start with the fun part of actually embellishing the belly band. So as you can see I've got that happy birthday sentiment chipboard pieces from the dusty attic and I'm using them to decide where I'll place my journaling card. So I've put that over to the right quite a bit so that I've got space to add all my embellishments and I've also pulled it down from the top a bit so I've got space for those chipboard pieces. I'm just using the Tombow glue that I use, it's a wet glue um, to stick my chipboard pieces down with and I found that is for me anyway it's a glue I really like for doing those kind of embellishments it's got a small tip and can get in there really well art glitter glue would also be a great choice now as you can see I'm starting to stick down my pieces and really get the main part of the belly band done I'll just let you know, I'll play some music in a moment, but I'll just let you know that for my resin pieces, I'm mainly using Prima Soft Matte Gel. This will give a really great hold. It does take a little while to dry though, like properly. Um, and for my flowers, just so they're pretty much instantaneously stuck, I'm going with my hot glue gun. And just as you can see here, I'm trying to be really careful that I don't want my belly band to close up. Otherwise, it will be a matter of starting all over again, I guess. So every time I'm sticking something that kind of borders on the edge, I keep checking just to make sure I can still get that belly band open. So as you can see, I'll put my cluster in, just decide where I want everything. I kind of lay my bits out and then glue a few down at a time. Then once these are all in place, I'll just go around and add some of the melange pebbles, which hopefully you can see in the video, give a really nice shine. Um, they're faceted so the light just bounces off them and they give such a gorgeous sparkle. I'll then add for the same effect, but just smaller really, the I, uh, what are they called, Satan Crystals by Prima. 
I think those ones that I use are actually leftovers from one of the Christmas collections, but most of their collections will go together really nicely and I thought those colours match these flowers and the rest of the collection really well. So I've popped those on and I then use a small amount of one of Prima's paste to get a bit more sparkle on one or two of the flowers. I do have close-up photos at the end so hopefully you'll stick around for those. I really enjoyed making this project. I love making gifts for people, something homemade and by the time I'm doing this voiceover it has been received and it was really well received and I've been promised it will be kept. So hopefully that inspires you to make something similar of your own. The money card holders are really great for all different occasions just change up the chipboard pieces add something else instead for whatever the occasion is so i hope you like this video as much as i enjoyed making the project if you do please give it a thumbs up uh, leave me a comment if you liked it, if you didn't, leave me a comment also. <laughs> but anyway, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, take care. Bye-bye.